Well, good evening again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome again to Kai Kai. And we have executive chef Frank Ucolito from Cafe Chardonnay. And with his team, it's always the same team for many, many years. Jose has been working with him for as long as I know them. Probably, I was, yeah. probably 40 years, I guess. So enjoy your evening tonight, and I'll let Mr. Ucolito take the stand. <laughs> Uh, good evening, everybody. Thanks for thanks for coming to another cooking class at Kai Kai. I just I love coming up here every year. It's great and love working with Diane. Um, so tonight we're gonna do um, octopus. We it's one of our appetizers at the restaurant. Except I changed the uh, setup a little bit because this Indian River fruit is is so in season now. It just tastes great. So we're doing it with that instead. So instead of just showing you like grilling a piece of octopus, that's kind of boring. I thought I'd bring a whole piece of a whole octopus and then show you how we set up to, uh, to prepare it. So this is like a four pound, three and a half pound octopus. Um, it's from Spain. They, they all come in frozen because that's just the way it is, but we buy Spanish octopus. Um, we blanch it in boiling water, drop the, uh, you see I'm gonna drop the legs in, and you pick it up four or five times and the legs, it'll make the legs curl. So when it's cooking, it'll stay curled. And then we, we uh, braise it in an oven for about, uh, 90 minutes at 300 and we have a convection oven so it's like 310 degrees but it'd be 325 i think put in the recipe for yours um, and it, every time we do it it comes out nice and tender so it works works well and it's pretty simple it's celery a, a rough rough cut on all the vegetables some carrots and some onions and then we put in some we have garlic a little bit of crushed red pepper some bay leaves and, and uh white wine and a little bit of olive oil. And then we just drop the octopus in it when we finish, when it comes out of the boiling water. So I'm gonna cut these first, then we'll go back to the pot of water. Should be ready by now. Got a little late start today. We got we had two accidents on 95 coming up from uh, Palm Beach Gardens. So sorry, we're a little bit behind schedule. But uh, Jose got stuck in the first one. I left after him and then I got stuck in the second one. So. <laughs> Um, the octopus has gotten so popular, we, we didn't serve it for a little long. We never had it in the menu until, I don't know, five or six years ago. And now it's one of our, one of our best sellers. And we do, at the restaurant, we do, it with cal we do also calamari steak with it. And then we have a, a white bean salad and uh, a black olive aioli. But we've been doing that for a while, so I thought we'd do something a little different. And I've got a, I've got a bay leaf here. Oh, there. Some bay leaves and some black peppercorns. A whole garlic, you don't have to do anything with it. And then some olive oil. Like that. And then I've got two cups of white wine, and the rest will be water. So once we get into the pot, we're gonna cook it in, and then we'll be, it'll be covered with water, up, just up to, to cover it. And then we cover it with aluminum foil and pop it in the oven. Let me move this out of the way. All right, so let's go over to the stove over here. I don't know if you can see. So you just grab it by the head. The water's just about boiling. And then just hang it over top for about 10 seconds. Got it. And lift it out. See how it's starting to curl already? We'll do it three or four times and then it should, should stay pretty curly. One more. All right. All right. There it goes. Did you find a bigger pot? Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's use this one. No, let's just use this one right here. This would go in the oven. There we go. This has the water in it, too. All right. You know what? Let's just bring, bring that thing of vegetables over here. We're going to go ahead and use this pot. So I'm going to put it in the oven and let it cook. And uh, this has water in it already, so we're just going to add the ingredients to this. You could simmer on the stove. Um, we just found it's more consistent going in the oven because it stays at the same temperature. Or when it's on the burner, sometimes it gets hotter, sometimes it gets, it gets cooler. So this way we put, cover it and put it in and just let it go. So we're going to just drop that in like that and move it around. And we're going to go put this. Let's go ahead and wrap that and put it in the oven in the back. And then later we can at least pull it back out and show you how to cut it. So once we're 
once it does come out. We cut, cut the legs off, we toss them in, it's in the recipe, we toss them in some olive oil, some seasoning, and then when we're ready to serve it, we just put it on the grill for two, three minutes on each side because it's cooked all the way through. And then tonight, tonight's salad, I've got some, um, these are the sumo mandarins, um, honey bells are in season. These are tango tangerines. Um, and I've got to grab a bowl. Where'd my bowl go? Here it is. So this is pretty simple salad. It's just going to be some orange slices. And I just cut off the membrane as, as close as I can without losing the whole piece of fruit, but so they don't leave too much on. And for salad, this would be this would feed like four to six people using uh, six six pieces of fruit, depending on how much you want to serve. Mm, on this, like that. Anybody have any questions while I'm just standing here cutting? <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't peel those. We never do. Not for that. We don't peel them for that. We don't peel them for um, our veal stock that we make, every, that we make or, our, or our chicken stock. So we peel them for everything else. All right. All right, we're almost done. And this is coming to the end of the uh, the fruit season uh, this year. And the t the uh, honey bells are late. I tried to get some in January when they usually out, but they didn't have them yet. Same thing happened last year. I don't know if it was the weather or what it was, but all right. Then I take the big pieces and squeeze them for the juice. The big ends. Anything that has some flesh still on it. All right, just a little. There we go. Get rid of this. All right. I just I cut them in half and just cut them in slices. You could section them if you want to you know, cut them in between, but they seem to lose so much. And they're, these are tender, so you don't have to. Sometimes a if you use grapefruits or something, you've got to really section them because the membrane will be too tough. But these are pretty tender. Cut any extra off. And that, if you see in the recipe, I've got um, Sicilian chili peppers. We put a few in. You don't have to put them in. They're kind of they're vinegary and spicy, but I put a, just a few in the big batch. But you don't have to. You can leave those out if you want. These are, the, these are uh, I said Sicilian, I'm sorry, they're, these are Calabrian. They come, they're packed in vinegar, the little hot peppers. So you can, they're good in salads and stuff like that. They're refreshing. They're a little, little spicy. They're not like a habanero or anything, but they're, if you bite into one, you'll, you'll, you'll feel a little bit of heat. But. And I've got some uh, spring onions from Kai Kai. I'm going to slice these and put them in. These are. <laughs> Try not to. <laughs> then I'm going to put a little parsley and I've got some basil. You can put in, um, sometimes I'll throw a little oregano in it. I've got some here. I think I'll put some in. And uh, some lemon juice. And you can make this salad not too far ahead, maybe an hour or so because the juice will all start weeping out of the uh, fruit if you do it too far ahead of time. But the octopus you could make the day before and chill it and then uh, marinate it and grill it before you're going to serve it. But you also could use that octopus for other things. You can make pasta, you can make a pasta sauce with, uh, with that octopus. Cook it the same way and then I, I do it with um, olive oil, garlic, uh, some tomatoes and then, and then some white wine and then slice it, put it in the sauce, serve it over pasta. Well, let's see, that's that. And I've got some fresh ground black pepper. 
I love this little thing from Amazon. <laughs> All right, salt. And I think that's it. What was my olive oil? Oh. And olive oil. Uh, I'm sorry? Um, I use kosher, kosher salt. We use that. But I only use the... Um, uh, no, I don't use the Mortons. It's too strong. Um, there's another brand. Of course, now I can't think of it. It's in a red box. Um, Diamond, thank you. Yes. Um, that's the one we, that we look for because the other one is, is too, too salty. So get rid of that. And where's my tongs? Oh, I need a spoon. We got me a spoon of some kind. All right. And then I'm going to put a little pepper in. And squeeze the, squeeze the seeds out of it. I'm just going to put a little. There we go. Get that in there. It's probably comparable to jalapeno. Yeah, it's not. It's preserved, so it's a little bit more intense. So that would be a little stronger than like a, a little stronger than a pickled jalapeno, but it has some vinegar in it. I've got a few if anybody wanted to taste them. Um, I'm going to set up a plate. Jose, we're going to get some, put in the, uh, just a tiny bit of this first. So you get some olive oil to break this up. Let me do one and then we can start, set, you can start setting them up. Yeah, we'll need a serving spoon and there you go. You can use that, yeah. I'm gonna put this on here. So I'm just gonna, we'll just use the bed of arugula for this and drizzle a little olive oil. On there, a little more salt. Well, we have, um, the, the one that I bought for this is a Sicilian olive oil that we get from uh, our distributor, Primeline. It's like $60 for a three liter bottle, or jar, I should say, a can. It's, uh, it's really, it's sharp and different for this seafood. But normally we'll use a, a, a Tuscan if we can get it. Um, Permitzi is the brand that we normally buy. No one's really selling Tuscan anymore. It's all gone to little bottles and almost everything is blended. It's coming, I, they said this year especially it was too hot. Um, in Italy, so I guess the olive um, didn't, the, the, the harvest wasn't as, as big as they expected, so they're bringing in olives from everywhere. Uh, so they've got the name on the bottle, but it's, when you're reading the fine print, they're coming from all over the Mediterranean, which it's not that different. Um, but some of the higher end ones are really good. Some Tus I like the Tuscan ones if I, if I can get them for myself, or just a drizzle on a salad. So I take a little of the juice, we put that on top, and then we just get the octopus, where'd it go? Oh, it's right in front of me. Duh. And then I would put this, if we cut it, maybe a couple slices, however you want to set it up. Like that. And Jose just grilled it. Put it on top, and then a little bit more of this the juice and olive oil over the top of it. Like that. So something like that. If you want to do it, you know, you want to do a whole piece, you could do that. But it's it's pretty simple. And uh, if you wanted to put some tomatoes on it for color, you could. You could put some uh, some more peppers if you wanted bell peppers or something. If you wanted to spice it up a little for color. But so we're gonna set these up for you, and uh, you get to try it. Memories.